Okay, so I'm gonna let you choose. How many how many trials, how many numbers do you want to start with now instead of twenty? Um, let's go down to ten. Okay. And so now when we pick ten numbers initially, uh, how often are we expecting to be to pick when, how often are we expecting to have our new number be bigger than the largest one we had before? Um ten. 10 times? Or 1 over 10. Yeah, 10% 10 of the yeah. time. Or, yeah, 1 tenth of the time. So here's what our new distribution looks like with 1,000 trials. And you can see a lot of times we're below 1 tenth. But yeah, what, actually, what I should ask you, what do you think about this distribution here? Um, well, And just I while think you're saying that, I'll show you. Oh, we've got 11, 1 and 11th. So these, there's a lot of times where it's below one tenth, but since I guess the ones that are above one tenth make a bigger impact in the average, mm -hmm. even though there's less of them, um, because you can go out and go out farther. Yeah. From one tenth. So let's see it again. Let's run another one with one ten one tenth and see what it gets but you can say so this at least it shows the picture still while it's running yeah. so it's interesting what's the most likely percentage that we're finding of, of times uh, looks like the closest to zero yeah and then we saw that, oh, it oh looks like our second run is finished and we see that again and we get around 110 but yeah sometimes as much as 40% of the time we mm. were picking something that was larger. What do you think would cause you to have a very high chance of picking a larger number when you pick at random? Um, it's just having a lot of large numbers or yeah. having a lot of variation in your distribution. Okay, yeah, if the distribution allows lots of large numbers to come in. But also we only picked 10 numbers in the beginning and so maybe if they were all small just by yeah, random chance you would have a, a you would have a high chance of picking. All right, so why don't you pick a second number, a different than 10 or a different than 20? Um, well, we can go up to 50. Okay. So now we only expect to exceed our, um, our largest one, one, one fiftieth of the time or 2% of the time. Yeah. Do you think the distribution of, of winds will have the same shape, or it's very heavily skewed towards the bottom but spreads out? So this is, it's a different scale, but... Same general shape. Yeah, we got 1 over 51. It's the same general shape, yeah. So it's, it's heavily skewed towards the bottom. Mm -hmm. The average is right here, 2% of the time. It, you can, you, it spreads out above it. Yeah. Yeah. We actually even can understand the shape, but I, I didn't. I thought that might have been too complicated to go into. Let's do it one more time, just to see that we, we aren't getting an accident, and, we're, and we can start to believe now that that the math that he showed or the result he got does seem to coincide with our experiments, which is kind of nice because even if you can't understand his math, you can actually run these experiments, yeah. and you can see that this this is what's happening. Okay. So, so we got the same kind of shape as before, and oh, one one forty eighth of the time. Interesting. All right. So now we'll go to the last video, and we'll look at uh, different shapes of of the distributions themselves. All right.